there's yeah, there's right. an interesting story, and now two people have now told me through uh, well, John Hyde, who's a drummer who played with the band Detective. I don't know if you know about Detective, but they were on Swan Song Records. And John Hyde is from the Boston area, or he you know grew up there. Um, and he said when he saw Zeppelin, he could swear Bonham had two bass drums. And what? No, but what? What location would that have been? How at the they... Tea Party, but it would have either oh. been January of '69 or May, I think, of '69. And he doesn't recall the the month. He just said that he was playing two bass drums. Now, at first, I thought, well, maybe he just misremembered that, or you know, because yeah. there are a couple photos from the Tea Party gig in January of '69, and he's he's just playing one bass drum. Yeah, he doesn't right. have two bass drums set up. But another person recently, I think it was a YouTube comment, told me that he also saw Bonzo at the Tea Party in January of '69, and that he had two bass drums. Well, how now, many, how many is, shows did they do? They did. In, they did two shows. They did an afternoon show and an evening show. So the the existing photos are just from one show. So it's very right. possible that that other show, maybe he tried out the two bass drums. You know, there's yeah, this right. there's this story about how Peter Grant and Jimmy, like no one liked the two bass drums, and they were like, "It's yeah, too much. That. It's overkill. <laughs> you know, lose lose it." And when he tried using the two bass drums later in the summer of 69, he pulled the two bass drums back out and set them up. And there's a few gigs where he's using double bass drum. Yeah, like four or five gigs, right? And yeah, there's the at top. least five gigs where he Sorry, was okay. using them in a row in, in August of 69, J July and August. And I think that might be the time when Robert Plant – you know, said he he tells a story about how they used to hide Bonzo's other bass drum because they didn't want him to play it. <laughs> so that would have likely been at that time. You know, he was probably ah, like, "Oh, I'm going to try this. I want to try it." You know, yeah. And yeah, they're yeah. like, "Hide Bonzo's bass drum quick!" You know, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, Too much thunder. <laughs> yeah. I'd love yeah. to hear outtakes of that, like the different dubbed parts. Oh yeah, I also right. think. My my personal opinion is he was playing double bass drum on that, yeah. at, at at least for certain parts. Um, I think a lot of hardcore Bonhamites don't agree. They think, I don't know, he, he could play anything with his right foot. Of course he could play that, but there's a certain aspect to the feel yeah. that yeah. doesn't double sound like feel. one foot playing that that uh, pattern. That it has yeah. more of a swung almost like yeah like a you did you did a great job in your in your video where you did it with one foot yeah i mean i think you i mean i think it's possible of course to do you know it just to me doesn't sound like it right and there's also no another important thing is there's no precedent for it bonzo never played that particular thing before yeah, right. You know what I mean? That it's not like the bass drum of, yeah. triplets. Yeah, he never played uninterrupted sixteenth notes in a row like that. That's going yeah. on under underneath everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. So right. anyway, yeah. the jury's out on what drum kit he used for Bonzo's Montreux. Who knows?